And so I always went back and forth, Divine Mother, Master, Divine Mother, Master, and I never could go deep in my devotion. And then one day he said to me, chant to Divine Mother. I thought, okay, now he tells me, Divine Mother. Next time I saw Master, Divine Mother disappeared and Master was there. And then I thought, this is enough. I sat down and I thought it over and then I, it came to me. Who is Master? What is the Divine Mother? Unconditional love? Forgiveness? Grace? Kindness? Infinite understanding? All those aspects. And this is exactly the aspects that Master manifested. Exactly. And then I thought, Divine Mother and the Guru, same thing. Exactly the same thing. Divine Mother is working through the Guru. Guru is the Divine Mother. And then later on I read in Master's writings, in, his, in one of his prayers when he says, Infinite Mother, it is thou who didst come in the forms of all thy saints. And from then on, no more conflict. Divine Mother, my Guru, one. Same thing. And we saw with Master, same thing. There is a saint in India who said, Mother is a mother because she knows how to make provisions for her children. Meaning she knows the needs of each child and she gives each child what it needs. Not necessarily what the child wants, but what the child needs. And so I saw in the training, that Master gave us, he treated each one differently, according to, not our wants, according to our needs, according to our understanding. 